Hello Guardians, Briar Rabbit here. Welcome to Shard It or Keep It, the series where I make an argument both for and against dismantling a weapon, and you make the call. This week, we will be making the decision on the great purple pea shooter, Atheon's Epilogue. But first, let's review the results from last week. In episode 3, I put No Land Beyond on the table. Widely recognized as the worst exotic weapon in the game, the argument for dismantling it was strong. I stated that it was too slow to fire, had awful iron sights, and the reserve ammo was abysmal. Arguments for keeping the primary sniper included, well, it looks cool, and makes everything harder in Destiny when you try to use it. So the argument was made and you guys voted, and once again, the responses were passionate. Trevor D said, shard it, it's a waste of space for way better guns. If it does get better, you know that Zer will have it for sale, but for now, it's not worth it. Storm14 said, keep that shit. And the shadow guy 1234 said, Destiny sucks. In the end though, the votes were a landslide. No matter how bad it is, dismantling an exotic was simply not an option. With 59 votes for keep it and only 34 votes for shard it, No Land Beyond keeps its spot in the vault. So in three episodes, we have seen a hand cannon, a pulse rifle, and a sniper rifle. But this week, it's time for our first auto rifle, Atheon's Epilogue. Earned in the Vault of Glass, Atheon's Epilogue is a void damage auto rifle with a high rate of fire, but very low impact. In Vanilla Destiny, it was the only void damage primary in the game, making it invaluable for weekly nightfall strikes and taking down void shielded enemies. Times have changed, however, and with the release of the Dark Below DLC, Atheon's epilogue has gotten far less useful. And that is really the biggest reason to dismantle the epilogue. It was never a particularly good weapon. But now, it has been left behind at the 300 attack level. That combined with its low impact make it feel truly underpowered. We also now have a much better option for a void burn primary. The word of Crota is a new hand cannon earned from the Crota's end raid and it does void damage as well. When running in a nightfall with the void burn modifier, there is simply no reason to choose the epilogue over the word. The word does more damage, has better range, and is far easier to control. The low impact, high rate of fire rifle type has never really been a favorite of mine. And this one basically just hung around for the nightfalls. Now it isn't even useful for that anymore. So why would I keep this gun? This, once again, comes down to nostalgia. Early in Destiny's life, I ran a nightfall on Venus, Winter's Run. One of my teammates had recently gotten the Atheon's epilogue from the Vault of Glass, and with it began to wreck face. At first, I thought he was using a heavy machine gun because of the seemingly never-ending stream of bullets flowing out of the muzzle and the extreme amount of damage he was doing. But no, he said, it's an auto rifle. Got it from the raid. That was a catalyst for me. I knew I needed to get into that raid ASAP and start finding these weapons. And when I did, when I finally leveled up enough to get my character into the raid, I got it. It was my first raid weapon, and I was blown away. Praetorians suddenly became much easier to kill. Nightfalls started to become a slaughterhouse. The world of raid weapons was opened, and there was no closing it. And it all started with this one, Atheon's Epilogue. So that's it. I've argued for and against keeping Atheon's epilogue. Now it's up to you. In the comments below, cast your vote. Shard it or keep it. You decide. And in the next episode, I will act upon your recommendation. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.